Yes. Kaylee, we've seen the president hold a range of public events this week, but none of those events have been focused on the coronavirus. Why not? The president routinely focused on the coronavirus. I think you'll be hearing more um, about what we're doing in the coming week. He's hard at work. We talk about COVID every day from this podium. Uh, the task force is hard at work, and I'm, I'm glad you asked about COVID in particular because I just want to um, read through some of the um, things that we are doing, uh, which I think is most, most important than what we're saying is what we're doing. Um, and the White House has engaged in travel. Dr. Burks um, to Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina. I spoke with Dr. Burks this morning. She's in Georgia. Georgia today, heading to South Carolina tomorrow. HHS has deployed 19 teams across the country. We identify not um, where we see embers, but pre that. We identify where we might see an emergence and we send teams there to address it in advance. So we're proactive. Um, the, uh, Dr. Burks routinely sends real time data to governors. She gives them governor's uh, reports on remdesivir. We've surged it to Texas. Florida, California, Arizona. Uh, 65,000 vials went to these four states, and we're also uh, surging testing sites. So we're doing stuff each and every day. But Kaylee, surely you would agree this is the biggest challenge facing the public right now. Why aren't we seeing it as the president's biggest public priority? The president's focusing on, on a lot. Look, the president just yesterday uh, held a, a, a big um, press conference, if you will, or an avail in the Oval, Oval Office about MS-13. Um, COVID is something that we're focused on. It is a top priority of this administration. It's why the task force meets. It's why I mentioned to you we're taking all those steps. But there are other things the president has to focus on, namely Democrat cities not controlling their streets, namely uh, the mayor of Chicago, um, people dying in her in her, on the streets of her city every weekend. And the president sent her a letter saying, you must secure your city. Uh, the president's involved in Operation Legend in honor of Legend Tal Talaferro, a young man who lost his life, sending federal assistance to St. Louis, an, a, a city that has asked for our help, uh, and he's shown up. The president's focused on MS-13, who um, tragically maimed and killed those two young little girls, uh, and he's held their killer accountable, the leader uh, of that ring. So the president's focused on COVID. It's a top priority. He's focused on the violence in the streets. He's doing a lot of things at once, and that's the great thing about the Trump administration. Ms. Buckley, when's yes. the last time he attended a task force briefing? The president is briefed on coronavirus each and every day. Yes, Darlene. Thank you. Does the White House agree that it's not helpful for people to wait seven days or longer to get the results of their coronavirus tests? And is, and is the White House going to do anything to try to shorten those wait times so that people can get their results sooner? So we've done more than any country in the world on testing. There's no doubt about that. 42 million tests. Uh, the country with the next highest number is India at 12 million. There are various different types of tests in this country. Some take longer to process than others, but we have surged testing to the states. Uh, and we encourage them to use it uh, to their best ability and to process those tests as quickly as possible. Thank yes, you. Thank you. To follow up on that, it's not just about the quantity of testing. It's about the quality of testing. So. Is the administration doing anything specifically to make all the tests out there return quicker results? Because, you know, a lot of health experts are worried that when people have to wait seven days or longer, they're, they're out here spreading the disease unknowingly. So as I noted, there are several different types of tests. There's the Abbott rapid response test. There are other tests that take longer. Dr. Burks and Admiral Joie are constantly out there advising on testing and how to process these tests. Ultimately, we can give the states the supplies, but they've got to use them in the best way possible to get results as quickly as possible. But rest assured, our team's fully engaged from Admiral Joie uh, to Dr. Burks and others. Um, and Admiral Joie shared with me, we have 552 sites testing in America in 48 states and the District of Columbia. 65% of these sites are located in counties with moderate to high social vulnerability, uh, and 201 additional sites will be going live this week. And that's on top of the 1,300 federally qualified health centers that are out there testing as well, and the commercial testing sites at CVS. I have another question. Can you wait